Hello everyone, FSG here, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to Court Farm. So we're still running this big forage contract. Got the two guys, James and Wes, running the other two trailers. And Willie in the uh, chopper. Um, I am running another load down to Valley View Bales. Uh, but after that, I'm going to stop because um, we've got a few things to get organised ahead of our big silage trip over to Carmston Farms to help Clive out. I have sourced myself an elite crew of uh, tractor drivers to help me out down there. And uh, in just a little under an hour from now, we'll be heading over there live um, to do that, uh, to that big contract. £200,000 on the table for us there. So it's really going to make us as a... Uh, as an operation huge opportunity to do a really good job so um, we have got 15 additional workers from the FSG community heading along to help us out live so I would strongly advise if you're watching the video now and you're picking this up um, just you know in the hour after it's been released why don't you hang on and head over and watch the live stream as soon as you're done here it would be brilliant to try and see if we can get Maybe a thousand live viewers. That would be awesome. We usually get around about 1,200 views in the first hour of the vid. So if you all hung around and watched the start of the stream, we'd get some seriously high numbers. So I'm quite excited to see just how high we can get. But even if you don't and uh, you're watching this after the fact and you've picked up the live stream, thank you for all your support. It's been uh, amazing. This series has really kind of... I guess resonated with people and everybody seems to be really enjoying it. I as well am really enjoying it as well and it seems to be growing a little bit of arms and legs and its own personality as well over the last uh, few weeks and months so uh, I'm, I'm delighted about that. So much so that I missed the gate there. So let's try again shall we? That's better. A little dent in the trailer never hurt anybody. So yes, like I said we've got a few things to prep ahead of the uh, live stream in a little while um, and I'm super excited about that so um, let's get this dumped um, and then we've got a few things we'll go back to home farm and I'll have a chat about what kind of I'm thinking we should be doing so we'll see you in just a little minute right here we go let's get this just dropped into a shed for now I do like this Massey just drives really really nicely kind of looking forward to seeing if a 9S is going to be coming out soon uh, based on what we saw at Agritechnica maybe there's a little upgrade there it's very possible as well that could be far too big for the lanes around here so um, but always worth checking out you never know there could be a demo out right let's drop this trailer just in here like so I'm going to walk away from this one and I'll talk you through what, what my thinking is so let me just run around here and just park this just here for now. And we'll go for a little wander down into the fields. So there we go. Cow's doing nicely in there, making us a good amount of milk. Uh, we need to consider selling some of that soon. We've got a good amount of slurry appearing as well here. We've not put any straw into the shed, so we're not getting manure. We are just getting slurry, which, to be honest... Suits me fine, I'd prefer slurry. A little bit easier to transport and uh, apply on the fields. And a little bit quicker as well. Now, uh, the maize next door is doing well. I don't know whether or not we uh, actually combine that as a crop yet. Or we uh, harvest it for forage. I don't know what's going to be the most lucrative. I need to just crunch some numbers on that. But our grass field here is ready to harvest. Three out of three forage ready to go. So I think... It would be prudent for us to get this mowed, get the bales off, wrapped, and sold, and that'll make us a little bit of cash as well. And over here is our field of linseed. Again, not a crop I've harvested before, so I think we'll, we definitely will leave this one to harvest. We, uh, I did think we could forage this one as well, but I um, want to forage everything, and uh, we could get quite a nice little return on this. So down here, there we go, linseed. Returns, anything between kind of 290 and 300. Uh, let's just have a look what its maximum price is, though. 403 maximum price there. 
Um, so, it all depends on how it yields, I guess. Uh, but, not far off being ready to combine. And again, you know, we've been doing grass work for now, like, months and months and months. But we are creeping ever closer to harvest season and being able to get the combine out again. So, um, that should be good fun. But in the interim, why not do a little bit more grass work? So, uh, with that in mind, the mowers are down at the other sheds. So we're going to take the Massey down, get the mowers hooked up, and bring them up here, and uh, we'll get started mowing this field. Let's head on over to the contractor's yards. I'm just going to wait here, because I do believe... Yes, there he is, just coming through. There's Wes running the fast track. Oh, doing a little bit of a corner cut there. But he's on it. Those guys are doing a brilliant job. I'm totally impressed with both of them. Just told them what we needed, set them up, and they have just run like clockwork since. Um, so I think I found a couple of good guys there. Delighted with that. So, um, like I said, we'll leave them to finish that big contract. And we'll head down here and look after our own farm for a little bit. Right, here we go. I actually didn't realise that... Um, we would be driving past the field when I headed down here, but look, there we go. Forager turning at the top. And the Valtra with him there, so that's great. Ah, oh, so nice to know you've got a trusted team working on stuff. Great stuff. Hopefully the same for Calmston later as well. A crack squad of 15 coming to join us. Right. There are the sheds. Typically, this is all the equipment I said I'd leave down here. I need them up the other farm now. I actually got this field to cut as well, so I mean, there's quite a lot of money in this. If I'm being honest. Um, but let's head up here. We're going to do round bales, I think, because we'll wrap them for silage. Our square, ba our square baler doesn't do uh, wrap. We could get a separate wrapper, but I'm not going to bother doing that. Um, so, let's go around here. Let's grab our mowers. And let's get out. Oh, look, the car's still there. Should have uh, should have shut the door, though. Look at that. Good old British countryside. You can leave your door open and... Uh, your car doesn't get nicked. Right, let's shut the door there. There we go. That'll come in handy later, once we've finished the work. Still haven't sorted these cones out either. Just move it to the side. There we go. Right. We're going to get all hooked up. And we'll head back to home farm. Right, here we go on our merry way. Look, the guys really don't have much left. How many, how many rows are there? Maybe five, maybe six? Something like that. Great to see that running there, though. Fantastic. Right. Too much talking. Not enough action. Let's go and get some mowing done. There we go. That didn't take long at all. That was great. Um, we're going to fold this straight away and we're going to run it back to the yard. Hopefully. If I can turn it off. There we go. Get everything folded up. Um, yeah, we're going to run this straight back to the other yard because I don't think there's much mowing needed up here. And again, uh, we need to go and pick up equipment from down there as well. Um, but I was thinking while I was mowing that... Um, we had been talking about what we're going to do with the silage bunker, weren't we? And the silage in it, because we do have enough to keep the, the cows fed for the foreseeable future. And we have two grass fields that we can obviously turn into silage bales as well and sell. So this, I think it's about a quarter of a million litres in here. But I was thinking we were going to load it up into trailers and sell it loose. But actually, maybe there's another way. Now, I was thinking maybe... 
we can hire a static bailer for a little while. You've got the, these two options from Gavile, the F115 and the V40. Both will provide you with wrapped silage bales. Um, this one does slightly bigger ones. This one does slightly smaller. Um, it kind of doesn't matter, really, which one we choose, I don't think. Um, and lease-wise, I mean, it's expensive, 12 grand. But you think the amount of silage in that bunker, you would recoup that and some. So definitely something to consider thinking about uh, in a little while. Um, at the moment, price-wise, things are not the best. So we're going to time it until uh, the price is looking good. But uh, definitely something to consider. In fact, I'm going to throw that one at you guys and tell me what you think. Should we get a static baler in? Least to process all of that silage into nice bales before we haul it away or should we just load it into trailers and get it sold that way that would probably quite a lot of trailers to do that but um let me know what you think in the comments um always um welcome your thoughts feedback advice recommendations on things so there you go there's another one for you to ponder right back to the yard let's get this dropped off let's get the windrower up here all right, rear mower dropped off. Spin this around and drop the front mower in. Um, I think we might hook up the uh, front loader as well and run that up. We are still going to need to come back and get the baler and a trailer. So we're, we're due two more trips anyway, unless the guys finish in the field. And I can maybe grab one of them to bring some stuff over. But, uh, well, more than anything else. The front load is in front of the windrow, so we need to get it out of the way anyway. So let's get this hooked up. Let's grab the windrow as well. And we are looking good. Right, here we are back at home farm. Now I did just get a radio call from James saying he was about to come past home farm as well. So I'm there he is indeed. Look at the timing. We'll just let him go past. Like I said. Absolutely brilliant job by those guys. I have found a couple of gems there. Legends. Right. Let's get some windrowing done. Here we go, last little bit. I've done that by hand, and I'm not gonna brag or anything, but that is the neatest field I think I've seen in a long time done by hand, by me, at least. He says as he totally messes up the last row. Um, no, I'm very pleased with that. That was most enjoyable. My new Thrustmaster wheel working nicely there. Right, there we go. That is all done. Um, Quick spin back to the yard again, we'll drop this off and we'll grab the baler. We'll maybe check in on the boys and see how they're doing, they can't be far off finish now. We're running past the field here and look there's James just spinning it round and it looks like that is their last pass they're just starting. Fantastic. Fantastic indeed. So that, that bodes well actually because that means Wes can grab the fast track and bring the trailer up so we don't have to worry about running down here again we can just take the bale back and then hopefully he'll follow up behind awesome stuff right let's get this dropped off let's grab the baler and we'll head up back so we'll see you there fsg to wes come in wes hi fsg go ahead are you done down there now Yes, indeed, sir. 
Excellent. Can you grab the bale trailer and bring it up here? Probably just the small one. I don't need the big one. That would be awesome. On it, boss. Thank you kindly. Right. Let us get into position here. Unfold our baler. And let's get on with it. Right, we'll see you when this is done. Right, here we go, last two rows. That, again, hasn't taken too long at all to do. Um, and we've got a good batch of bales in here. Nice crop in here. We did everything that we could with this, so um, I'm kind of pleased that uh, the crop is as big as it is. We got um, we got it rolled, we fertilised it. Um, we made sure that we got as maximum a yield out of it as we could. So, I'll just turn around at the bottom here. We'll get these last couple of bales out of the baler. And then we'll head back to the yard. Very exciting. How many bales we've got actually? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, probably 21 by the time we've got up to the top here. So, great stuff. Okay, there we go. Last bale. Look at that tiny little bit left there a little bit annoying but there we go i'd rather that than uh, half a bale sitting in the baler so that's absolutely perfect right let's unload that there and we will turn this off and fold it up ready to be taken back down to the yard Right, let's see if Wes has finished up and brought the uh, trailer down. And he has. And, oh, look at that. He's even taken the liberty. Putting the front loader on it as well. That boy switched on. I like it. I like it indeed. Right, um, this baler's going to go back to the other yard because um, I need to grab the Range Rover and bring it back up here as well. Because as soon as we're finished here, we are going to head over to Carmston and get stuck into our other set of contracts. So, um, yeah, in maybe a little over sort of half an hour, uh, we've just got to make the short drive a little bit east of here, and we can dive into the big contracts. Right, bale sorted. I'm actually just going to leave the Massey hooked up to it for now. And we will jump into the Range Rover and head back to Home Farm. Hey up FSG, it's Clive here. Oh hi Clive, how are you doing? Are you good to go with this contract? Absolutely mate, you should uh, get some some of the workers descending on you in the next half an hour or so. Um, I'm literally just finishing off a little job here and then I'll be in the, uh, in the Range Rover up the road to you. That is champion. I can't wait. No, nope, looking forward to it too, mate. Right, we'll see you soon. Thanks, FSG. Right, there we go. Let's get back to home farm. And we may uh, not pick up those bales. Let's see what the time is like. But it's very possible, because there are bales, they're not contract bales, um, they need to sit and ferment anyway. So uh, maybe, maybe we'll just leave them on the field and pick them up at the start of the next episode. Um, let's head up there anyway, and we'll have a think. Right, here we are, back at the yard. I'll just drop this in the shed, out of harm's way. Right. What do we think? Well, let's run this down to the field anyway. But I do wonder... Time is not on our side. 
if we pick up all these bales, we may be late to uh, get down to Carmsden and kick off the contracts down there. So um, let's just check what the bales are saying percentage-wise. And if not, this might just be our first job. Let's start the next episode. So there we go, look, fermented 0%. So I'm going to make a decision. I think we'll leave these on the field. And we'll come back and get them at the start of the next episode because we have got a date. We have got a live stream starting in around about half an hour from now, a little over half an hour. So if you've just watched this um, from the moment it was released uh, and you're playing catch up, uh, you know, with an hour in between. So if you're watching this um, in the first hour after it's been released, um, why don't you hold on? And come join us on the live stream as well. Um, I'm just going to jump in the Range Rover here and head just up the road, not far up the road, to Calmston Farm, where we are about to undertake our biggest contracts ever. So, I will see you up there. <laughs> <laughs>